Otakon, an East Coast fan favorite anime and East Asian culture convention. Hundreds of hours of programming, including panels, workshops, games, concerts, and more. Fun for all ages. Some of the best cosplay you will ever see. Join us July 29th through 31st, 2022 in Washington, D.C.'s Walter E. Washington Convention Center. This is... See a red record? That one's good. Yep. That one's good? Yep, we're good. Part two. Thank you so much. All right. Too bad I part one did my apologies, folks. You missed a really good interview that yeah. I botched, but it's okay. No, I, I understand. It happens. I have to take issues all the time when I'm streaming. I hate it, but you know, it's going to be worse this sometimes. Yeah, yeah, but we are here at Otakon 2022, Nigeria Chambers, alongside of the lovely Kahu Sabudia. Oh, thank you. Welcome to Otakon. This is your first year. How's it been? My first year at Otakon. This is my first time in D.C. It's just <laughs> everything... This convention center is huge, yeah. and it's so beautiful, like a nice, like from everywhere. Yeah, yeah. What oh, put, put Otakon on your radar? What made you want to come to, I feel, one of the best conventions in all of the United States? Yes. I heard so many nice things about it, and it's just, the name is so recognizable, Otakon. Like, oh, that's a nice name, right? Yeah, yeah. lovely staff, yeah. lovely venue, um, and... What a fantastic guest list with your name being on the top of it. I saw your name pop up. I said, oh, God, this is going to be an amazing year. Coming out of the pandemic, you being one of the featured guests. Um, how, how does that honor feel, being one of the biggest guests here at this Otakon? Oh, it's just, there are like so many guests from Japan or Korea, and uh, it's amazing to see like international guests yeah. um, in American conventions. And, uh, wow, and I'm one of them. It's just so honored. Yeah. yeah, and how was travel getting here, by the way? I, it took a connecting flight yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> because like uh, there was like um, confusions and yeah. but connecting flight was kind of hectic but yeah. it's okay yeah. 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 I'm just glad to be here that's awesome that's awesome um, now as a content creator you've done so much you've hit in all of the avenues uh, from books uh, to yeah. Twitch uh, which you don't have a YouTube channel but I'm pretty sure you're going to load that up very soon I'm over here everywhere somehow <laughs> it can be a meme like I I'm um, still debating with myself should i have my own youtube channel why not <laughs> why not <laughs> okay and even djing as well too so yes. um you know again creatively how do you kind of get in that space to know what you want to do next hmm. so i have to like encounter anison dj like on stage um uh, at one of the conventions in the United States. And I was like, oh, wow, like vibing to Anison and just like a different Anison just popping out. Like, that's fantastic. Yeah. And I wanted to be on the stage and like, staring at the crowd. Yeah. So, yeah, that way it happened. Like, I only listen to Anison. Like, I literally just only listen to Anison yeah. and some talk sad too. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, that feels like, like it could be one of my Aries. That's awesome. And, and, and I think as we move more and more into the digital era, what's interesting is that you wrote a book, which kind of goes back to how, you know, things used to be. I mean, it's not to say that people aren't still writing books, but when once you start tapping into that digital space, you know, some people kind of don't look back. And, and how did you decide that you were going to do that? I feel like writing a book kind of slows things down. But, you know, as a streamer that that's very rapid, that's very right at you, you know, it's a lot of time. Yeah. Right. And. You know, we are right in front of this Apple Center. We used to be a public library, so I know, like, you exactly. know, people don't really care about the physical books anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you can read it on Kindle too. Yeah, right, 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 right. Uh, I used to work as a newspaper um, reporter, oh. and so I've always loved writing. So that's the reason why I chose that job, like right after, like out of college. Yeah. So yeah, I love writing. I know it takes a lot of time, and sometimes it's just not, it doesn't really match the payment I get from writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but still, it's um, my passion, and I love the fact that I get to write something that only I get to write about or I get to talk about. Yeah. And sometimes, um, just talking about it sometimes is different from writing about it. Yeah. It just, just feels different. Yeah. And you get to talk very privately about yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's vice versa. Sometimes in speech, it doesn't sound too cold, but in writing, it sounds a little bit cold, That's so you right. just have to adjust that. Yeah. But I love expressing myself. It's just one of many ways that I express myself. Yeah. 
Uh, two things I truly uh, respect about you. One is that you always are very adamant about controlling your content. Mm-hmm. Um, I had heard in an interview where you were talking about the distribution deal with your book, and you said you had created differences because you wanted it to be your story. Um, and you continue to be that person who decides to say, hey, this is my story, this is my image, this is my content. I want it to be how you want to be. Uh, do you find those to be difficult conversations for you? Um Definitely, even like in the editing process of my book, yeah. like English translation, the editor wanted me to say the F word as a verb. And I was like, I don't use F word as a verb. Like maybe it just like says the F word out of like, oh damn, like, you know, during gaming. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Something yeah, like yeah. that. But I don't use it as a verb. Like, that's not crazy. But yeah. the editor insisted like that's the image that like, you have to go with, with this, this type of theme. Yeah. I was like, uh, okay, well, like, it's just business. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes yeah, yeah. you just have to compromise. Yeah. But, um, still, it's a part of the process, this experience, because as an actress, you have to act like 24-7. Yeah. Even as being an actress, yeah. you have to act a certain character for your fans. Yeah. So that was interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, again, truly respect that. And another thing I respect is that you never shied away from your past. And with that, you took a response. I'm not going to say a responsibility, but you kind of got put on this plateau in terms of people, uh, in terms of uh, icons and figures that people respected because that, I feel, breeded a good sense of mental health where a lot of people who had to kind of run away from their past, who couldn't confront their past, whatever their decisions may have been, but you were somebody that says, listen, this is me, this is who I am every day, every single day, and a lot of people looked up to you for that. Um, did you know that by just I, what I would feel, something you felt was very normal and natural, did you know that you were going to get that? <laughs> no, not at all. I just assumed people were going to just forget about me yeah. once I'm out of that business, man. But still, they continued to support me. I was like, oh, wow, then I want to do something to pay back for them. Yeah. And that's the reason why I'm so motivated to do a lot of things. And I, wanna, I don't want to bore them. Yeah. I don't want to bore myself. Yeah. That's why I'm doing a lot of different things at the same time. It's going to slow down a lot of things yeah, <laughs> because yeah. I'm doing this and that and that. And, but hopefully, I get to show something at the end of the year, yeah. you know, no, by the end of the year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So two more questions for you. One, um, the voice acting. Um, there, there has been in previous re- interviews that you spoke about wanting to voice act, potentially something happening, the pandemic being a factor. You know, pandemic has definitely been crippling for a lot of uh, folks, especially in the content creator space. Um, but c- could you give a little bit of updates in terms of what that role is or uh, anything you've heard about it? The thing is, I got a script or I recorded some voices like here and there, like a different job. But... Is it because of pandemic? Sometimes they just stop, just like you know, pursuing it, and I think, oh, I don't know what happened to the job. And it's not just to me; it's like the industry itself. It happened to a lot of voice actors too. Um, I do know what's going on, but then here comes the strength of being a content creator. You get yeah. to control your own content. You get yeah. to make your own content, and you get to sometimes be bigger, you know, yeah. Yeah. You know by yourself, yeah. and that's fantastic. So I really want to focus on making more of my content, and eventually people notice me, and then you know, they give me some job. Yeah. And if something doesn't work out, you can still have your own content. Yeah. You don't have to rely on somebody for your own success. Yeah, you know? yeah. See, I, that's what I love about you, and I think that, you know, if anything, Folks look up to her for that. During the pandemic, it was a rough time. And, and when there may have been opportunities and doors closed, you bet on yourself and more opportunities. You make your own opportunities. You open your own door. And this is a prime example of that. So for my final question, mm-hmm. it is Otakon. Yes. It is an array of yes. guests here. You, I'm sure you're going to be so busy. Opening ceremony is going to be happening soon. Yes. But what are you looking forward to most about this weekend? Yes. See my fans, and I think I know that a lot of people from my chat, like Twitch chat, yeah. is coming. And this is my first time on the East Coast. So. Welcome, uh, come back all the time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just exciting to see new faces. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. That's it. Just fun interactions. That's, that's the most thing. Yeah, that's the most important thing. That's right. That's right. That's what I love about conventions, and I'm so glad you're here. Otakon, get the job done. Get her back here each and every year. But until then, folks, definitely come through Otakon 2022, happening right now. Meet your hero right here. Learn something about content creating. It was such a beautiful story, such a beautiful person, and it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much. And get one of these.
that bitch.